Good afternoon, I'm Kim Baez. Not all New Mexicans got to experience the winter blast that blew through the state yesterday, but boy, Hobbs did. They're the snow champs of this storm, and they're not exactly used to that much. News 13's Gabrielle Burkhart has the story. The calm after the storm. Isaac Guetta shovels his front porch after a snowstorm that hit Hobbs yesterday took most people by surprise. Yes, we got quite a bit of snow, probably the most I've ever seen since I've been in Hobbs. And how long has that been? Approximately 20 years. Today's sunshine is melting snowmen across town, but Guetta's not the only longtime Hobbs resident still in snow shock. Oh my gosh, it was so much snow, I couldn't believe it. Wow, I, in, since 1986, I have never seen this much snow come down on Hobbs. Eight to 12 inches fell on the city just yesterday, a storm that road crews said was heavy and fast, making it difficult for them to maintain roads. It didn't take long for local businesses to sell out of ice melt. Oh, by about 8.30 or 9 o'clock yesterday morning. That quick, huh? That quick. Road crews worked all day yesterday and through the night to make sure the main roads were safe, but it's the residential areas that some people had problems with. Residential streets were pretty rough and bad. A lot of people were getting stuck, and there was quite a people that I had to jump out that were stuck in the middle of the road and help them dig their car out just so they can back up and try to make it into their driveway. For myself, I couldn't get out. Uh, I had to get a ride from a friend uh, to get across town. Uh, my, my Toyota Corolla couldn't do it. Street crews were out in full force yesterday with three 1,600 gallon brine water trucks. Each one filled up three times. City, state police, and sheriffs responded to nearly 40 weather related accidents yesterday in Lee County. No one was seriously. Seriously injured. In Hobbs, Gabrielle Burkhart, KRQE News 13. Now, the city has a $50,000 annual budget for snow removal. $1,500 of that was used for cleanup from the storm over the holidays. The city estimates it may have used up to $10,000 on yesterday's storm.